This is Josiah Plays, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. I am here in the Gardens of Issa, capital city of the Summer Court Fey, playing my character, Cato Bloodrose the Crusader, kind of a battle mage type. And we are going now to continue the quest one drop. What is up, Dankswank7? Welcome back. How you doing? I saw Dankswink7 playing this game on her own stream last night. Or early this morning, if you prefer. How's it going? I'm going to open this water lock. We collected water samples. Now we're going to open a water lock. So it's going to be good times. Oh, I'm like, why is there a dead body right here? Then I remember, because I murdered this person. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta... Hello. Thanks, Wake 7 new streamer. Jump over there, give her a follow. Everything's so planty here, you know what I'm saying? Like... A lot of plants. Forgot about the murder, my bad. Yeah, you know how it is. Sometimes you murder somebody and it just slips your mind. Look, I can't be expected to keep track of every single murder I commit. Who has yes, time for all that? I need an app or something. Alright, I guess I have to pull this lever now. Of sorts, this strange looking device. We're gonna regulate some flow. What's up, Visidius Maz? How you doing? Are we leaving the face theme anytime soon? I think so, because, well, I don't know what you mean by soon. Pretty soon we're leaving the like super fey area and going into either the plains or the desert, which should have less fey ish stuff, I guess. I don't know. Although the whole map is called the Feylands, so I think the Fey are kind of everywhere in this place. Alright, let's flow regulate and see what happens. Nate Dog and Warren G gonna regulate. How you doing, Moz? That's it? I just had to push the thing and now there's an eruption of spray. And uh we win? Let's journal about this. I've opened the floodgates and allowed the font's flow to spill freely into the gardens of Issa. I should return to Nomeron to learn if I've succeeded. Back to Nomeron we go. Too much murder to remember. Can I aid you? A murder to remember. You've been playing some of this, Moz? I guess I need to go up those stairs right there. I will only blink. I will not walk anywhere. You know, if there wasn't that little pause after your second blink, it wouldn't be that bad to just blink everywhere, but... As it is, you've always got to kind of wait, and who has time for that? Oh, that Nomeron. He's no moron. Or is he? Or is he? Excuse me. Sarama will teach you the ways of the Fey. It's a quick save. I made a character, but I haven't made it too far. I'm gonna try to beat my 30 minute playthrough record. I think you can do it, Moz. I think you could go for 35. You know, don't push yourself. Don't push yourself. Baby steps. Go for 35. You've done well, child of the dust. Those below will never know what is really happening. But in the end, is this a part of the many seasons or the sudden tempest? Does hiding the rot not spoil the harvest, no? Take this. You're brave. Perhaps we will meet again. Okay, well I don't understand what your sudden deluge of metaphors meant, but um, thanks for the reward, I guess. Good luck with your whole font thing. May your gods protect you, mortal. 
Alright, what'd I get? I got a cowl of hail. Looks like that. Gives ice damage. Blasphemy! The blasphemy of ice. We don't we don't do ice around here. Not around here. There is only one element around here. And it is not ice. Hashtag ice is not nice. That's right, Nox. Ice ice baby. Oh god, vanilla ice. How was he even a thing? How was he even a thing? Oh, that's another one down. I've successfully opened the font's flow, allowing more water to pass into the city. Deceiving its citizens into believing all- DECEIVING ITS CITIZENS INTO BELIEVING ALL AS WELL! <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, I need to plant some reagents, I need to find some peoples. I need to go to AR. I need to go to Ameren. Alright, let's talk about... Planting some reagents. Where do we even do this? Where do we even do this? Oh my god, we have to go all over Hell's Half Acre for this. We have to go literally everywhere in the universe. Except for over here. Okay, well we're not going to get this quest done anytime soon. But we can go to a few of these locations. Can I fast travel to Gorhart? Will it let me? It will. Cold doesn't actually exist, there's only heat or no heat. There's no such thing as cold anyway. Hmm. You have a good point there, Maz. Well, the blasphemy of the lack of heat then. Hey, son, how you doing? Welcome. Son Gniff in the house. I guess I'm going to plant one of these things here. Just randomly. Hey, everybody, don't mind me. I'm planting some bizarre thing in your town that Be we well. don't know what it'll do. What will it do? What is this quest even about? Uh, we're replanting the reagents to restore the natural cycle. Okay. Hello, everyone. Just here to restore some natural cycle. And I'm immediately gonna harvest it. There we go. Give me some black cohosh. Oh, hey, Camden's back, finally. It's about time you get your ass back to town. Perhaps one day the nightmares will cease, and I again will be my own man, body and soul. Until then, I have Gisela. You still got that thing over your eye, I see. Alright, goodbye, Camden. That's enough out of you. Alright, well that one's done. We're gonna jump over here to Canarock. Canarock Row. What's needed now? We're immediately going to harvest stranger. it. So that seems like it defeats the purpose of what I'm trying to do there. If I like immediately harvest the thing that I just planted, but... Oh, hey, there's a thing over here that... It's calling my name. Oh, wow, crude leather armor. That's pretty exciting. Okay, where else do they want me to plant one of these? Apparently a Dyden Hill. Do they really think planting things at all there of these are. towns is really the best way to restore? I mean, right here in the middle of town by a well? Is that My really gonna... got the cough. He's taken to bed. Whatever, I guess the Fae know what they're talking about. That's all the ones in Dalantarth, so... We're not going to go looking all over the place for these other ones right now. What we're going to do instead is switch quests and do order of operations. We need to find three initiates who've gone missing. But where have they gone missing? They're all in the she. Back to the she. I'm gonna grab some black cohosh because why not? And 
We're gonna go looking for missing initiates. Man, there's black cohosh everywhere when you think about it. Everywhere. Your toes are frozen solid. See, now that sounds like a problem. Boggarts. I've obviously gone the wrong direction. Fucking winter. You don't have heat in the place where you live? You're poor, okay? Too poor for heat? That's fucking poor. Has internet, not heat. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, looks like this one didn't make it. Oh, uh, veteran. Let's see if you have any thing useful on you. Boggart Tumblr equals Starbucks VG vegan non-gender latte. <laughs> Bertrand's journal. Uh-oh, here we go, it's reading time. The Journal of Bertrand Nest, an initiate of the Scolia Arcana that fled the Issa Chapter House. Sarah died, killed by brownies. Aloran was sad at first. Fancied her, I think. Then he said that it was her fault that we got caught, said she hadn't researched the ward enough. Aloran and I had never seen a spell like it, and when it went off in our faces, the whole Chapter House knew what was happening. We fled to the She. But as we left, Aloran said it was Kassara's fault that we were stuck in the wilds with nothing to our name. Then he started calling me dead weight. Said he'd fix me if I couldn't keep up. Oh, so did they kill each other? They turned on each other like animals. Like animals! Scoli Arcana. They don't know what they're doing. That sinister ice elemental attacking Twitch followers because you talked ill about it. Hmm. Could be, Nox. Could be. One never knows. Alright, let's go find some more initiates. If anything gets in my way, it gets burned. That's what happens. That's how this works. I'm gonna start a black cohosh shop here in a second, like... Seriously. I don't want to mess with those sprites. Sprites just irritate me. Okay, it's a thresh. Nine hundred and twenty-nine gold in the big city. This is not the big city. What's the plant bits even for? Uh, you know. Making those dank remedies. Sarah's here. She didn't make it. Oh, she did a journal too. Everybody, you know, while they're in their mad crazy run for their lives and killing each other, I'm glad they all had time to take a moment to do some journaling. <laughs> like, we better write this down. We're all going crazy. Let's write some shit down. The Journal of Kassara Vaughn, an initiate of the Scolia Arcana that fled the Issa Chapter House. Here we go. The plan's laid out. Aloran and Bertrand are on board. All we have to do is wait until nightfall, and then we'll make off with Quintus's gem. Should be a simple matter of waiting for the gnome to go to sleep, dispelling the chest, and getting the gem. Then it's off to the west. Fence the gem, split the gold, and we'll live like kings. Oh, so there was like a whole plot going on here.
Look, can I at least take her Ugg boots or what? I mean... Alright, here we go. Let's just... Go over here. And find the last one, who's also gonna have a journal. Calling it now. In before journal. Thank God, Black Kohosh. I was running low on that. What kind of shenanigans are going on over here? Oh, there's a Thresh over here, too. Excuse me, Boggart. I ain't got time for you right now. Stuff. I mean, it's not stuff that I want, but I got some stuff. Enough with the black koha, seriously. We're getting stupid with this now. Are there no other plants? Alright, here we go. Journal time. Oh, it's a journal! Who could have foreseen this? What prophet could have foretold such an event? Alright, let's check it out. Sodding fools. Bertrand thought he could just watch Cassera die and still think he was innocent. That he could go back. I tried to tell him, and he just wouldn't listen. I couldn't have him bring others after me. I had to kill him. Now I can just get out of this damn wood and find a place to lay low. Maybe Canarok. Well, it didn't work out for him. So, where's this gem that they allegedly stole? It's the real question, I think, on everyone's mind. Or just mine. I found the bodies of the initiates that Joram Quintus sent me to look for. On each of their corpses was a journal that detailed, in part, the circumstances surrounding their disappearance. I should return to Joram and tell him of my findings. Oh, we gotta go back and talk to a gnome again. Always a somber time. Where that gnome at? Excuse me, gnome. You've returned! Have you found them? They're all dead. I think I know what happened. Then you must tell me, please! Well... Oh wait, maybe I don't know what happened. Hold on, let me read these journals again. Very well. But I'm eager to learn what happened that night. Don't be a stranger! I didn't realize I actually had to solve the case. All right, hold on. A Lauren's journal. Merchant's journal. I think Kassara planned it. I think she's the mastermind. Please, tell me what transpired between them. Well, I think I know what happened. Then you must tell me, please. Kassara organized the theft. Yes, I suspected as much. Kassara has a strong will and thinks with much agility. I am not surprised to learn this is her doing. Very well. What happened next? Bertrand was murdered. It... Uh, regrettable. It truly is. He was neither as strong as Aloran nor as smart as Cassera. I see how they might have turned on him. And so? What of the third? Peace killed him. Yes. Aloran often trusted too much in his own skill, and did not properly understand his environment. The she would have made quick work of him. 
Those fools. All this bloodshed over a gem. And now I, I cannot even bring myself to look at it. Better, I think, that you keep it. I agree. In addition, I that will discount better. my services to you, should you ever be in need of them. Thank you again. What are your services exactly? I got a mage's gem. That is a really everlasting medallion. Really everlasting. A band? Hella potent. Alright, and he's got gems. Goodbye, Joram. Goodbye! Joram Quintus, a member of the Scolia Arcana in Issa, asked me to track down three initiates who recently went missing. I discovered that the initiates were plotting to steal a gem from Joram. When the plan went awry, they turned on each other. Good. Solved. Victory. We win the game, guys. Alright, Mage's Gem, 17% mana. That's pretty significant mana-ness on a gem. We'll keep it. We'll hold on to it. Alright, so what's next? That's the real question. Um, do 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 I think we need to go to Aod. Yeah, it's time to go to Aod. Find out why its magical defenses have been breached. Uh oh, breach mode. Breach mode quest. Maybe we'll just sell a couple of things. The hometown here. Before we if do you have that. needs of gems or shards, I have plenty in stock. I have needs of your money. How much black hohush I have, it's getting a little ridiculous now. Hohush bagosh. Wait, what? What does that even mean? I don't know. Maybe we need this book on Aod. We'll just hold on to it. These journals, though, they can go. Have some bones, some tattered documents, enjoy all that. Don't spend that all in one place. Goodbye! Uh, Back to my Fang of the Fire Snake. Here we go. Breach mode. Yeah, that's right, Nox. Everybody's favorite. Everybody's favorite. Alright. Here we go. It's dungeon time. Boom. Boom is the fast travel sound effect. Kaboom. Doesn't even make sense. That's a stupid sound effect for fast travel. We're in the middle of a lake, basically. And there's some big stone gates. <coughs> there's waterfalls. There's ever-burning braziers or something. <coughs> Seems exciting. Check this place out. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is like a fire element themed place. So all of my damage is going to be like for nothing here. So that'll be good. That'll work out well. But I have a feeling monsters are about to just spawn and jump me. Oh, look at this place, though. Looks serious. And these Arathi sure built a lot of, like, enormous underground compounds all over the place. With plants growing right up out of the rock. Because, you know, how that works. I'm so going to get jumped in a second. Yup! That's a flame champion, so it's not going to take any damage from my shit.
I'm glad we could have that talk, gentlemen. Or whatever you are, sprites. I'm considering switching swords. If everything in here is going to be like fire this and fire that. Considering switching to fortune because it would be more efficacious against fire immune enemies. So let's just bust out fortune even though it doesn't have my glorious fire. Buckler of fire hindrance, some exceptional hand wraps. So exceptional. The trap. Oh, I can get stuff from traps now. Oh, and they show up on my mini map. Map trap. Trap map. Probably be more fortunate with it in here. Yeah, Knox. It's kind of low-hanging fruit right there. Got some basic flamed rivets. Wait, so like every single trap is going to give me stuff now? Hmm, this looks safe. I don't know why there's strings in a fire mine, but let's not question it too. I got some Disciples Greaves here. That is a lot of mana. That is a pile of mana. Let's just see how those look. I don't think they're going to match my ensemble. They don't look too bad with my ensemble, but I think I'm going to stick with the fire hindrance, especially in here. Since I'm going to be taking a bunch of fire damage, I think it would behoove me to utilize the fire resistance so that when they hit me with fire, I can be like, eh, doesn't hurt. Okay. Been burned worse before, frankly. Okay, we've got more fire mines. Oh, I got a pristine fire shard out of that. Hello. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with, well, fire. Lambent? What does lambent mean? I don't really know what the word lambent even means. Does it just mean like shining or bright or something? Ah. I like how fiery it is in here. Look at this. This looks. Alright. you like fortune I am bent I am bent submit adjective literary of light or fire glowing gleaming or flickering with a soft radiance the magical lambent light of the north I see lambent cool Uh, oh. Hey, who the fuck is that guy? Oh, he must be one of the cultists that was mentioned. Alright, I'm already sick of that dude. Mages are obnoxious. I might have to bust out the. The overpowered ass shock rooms. Ah! <laughs> 
Copy and paste, Queen. Good job. So that was some pro copy and pasting. Well done. The priests invited their bar guests to join. Yes, they did, Nox. Yes, they did. I like the decor in here. You know, they've got a certain motif going. It's really working for them. They understand their brand. And their brand. What's going on here? I get to smash stuff. I do love smashing stuff. Okay, so what do we have here? It's a skeleton. A lot of coins. A lot of scoring coins for a young skeleton to be carrying in this part of town. Let's see what's this way. I'm sensing loot over here. I'm sensing a lot of nonsense. A sprite flame champion. He's going to annoy me. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Going in. I'm getting mauled in the on the wall. Mall wall. Wall mall. are just so overpowered, it's ridiculous. You basically just press chakram button to win. Oh, hey now. Got some stuff in some rocks. Got some tinder twigs. The dating app for Faye. See you, fire mine. Here we go. Look at this, you just walk in and spam the chakra button and win, basically. That is a fuck ton of mines up ahead. It's like that Guns N' Roses song. You will be mine. Okay, I was literally disarming that and ex it exploded. That's rude. It'd be lambent up in here. Like lambent to the slaughter. Any more of these, I can make a leg of lamb and it's a dead skeleton as opposed to a living skeleton. What's up with all the fire mines in this place? They're, they went a little bit fucking crazy. They went a little bit crazy. I guess they figured they were never going to survive, unless they did. And that seals the deal. I'm disarming it. Okay, seriously with the mines over here? I can see you on my mini-map, you're not fooling anyone.
It's a really good thing that I got the skill level to disarm these things and get stuff out of them right before I came here. The center of all trap activity in North America. This isn't really North America. What are you, a fucking geographer cop? Okay, here we go. Spell chest. So much fire mining, yeah. This leg of Lambent is totally fire. It's auto attempt. You f what? Ooh, a Ravager Scepter. I don't use scepters. Very easy. I like the sound of very easy. There we go. I don't like having to do the dispelling mini game. Mostly because I'm bad. We got another room full of mines over here. More chests. I meant to disarm all them mines. Now, so better than a room full of mimes. Good call. So much. Uh oh, hard to spell. Now I'm gonna. Now it's gonna suck. Now it's gonna suck. There we go. Oh, we found something. We found something. We found a thing called Bastion. I guess it's a longsword, maybe? One from a Virani in a House of Valor tournament then contemptuously tossed into the sea by the Tuatha Victor. It's pretty nice. Pretty sure it's a long sword. I don't know. Yeah, it's a long sword, all right. Kind of dodgy looking. Be worth a lot of money when I sell it. I was quick save before I DV so that I can save scum it. Whoa, all the purples are here. The perps. Storm Spirit. This delicate scepter was made in the Court of Winter style for an Almain healer and follower of Matharu. All kinds of lightning and mana stealing and, well, we're going to sell it is really what it comes down to. But it's nice. It'll be valuable. We're getting the loots out of here. We're getting the loots. Each and every one of them. All right, I'm totally getting jumped in this room. Now that was just rude. I was in the middle of disarming. Just rude. Shitload of mines on the other side of that door. Boy, this would sure suck if I didn't have the detect hidden to show the mines. I'd be constantly getting blown up by these things. You know I would. And then there's just a random tree here, surrounded by all this fire stuff. Not fire safe. This is interesting. It's got all the mines on the edges of the room for some reason. Like they think they're gonna trick you. Like, aha, I won't go through the middle of the room because that's for the traps. And then you go on the edge and it's like, haha, sucker. Oh, I see. Holy shit, chakrams are good, man. They're good. Azurite Curas. Curas? Curas? I don't want that.
Dazing Greatsword. Hmm. Stun duration. Don't need it. Guess we're going to the south because there's a room here with some obstreperous beings. Oh, these fuckers. Hey, buddy. Oh, you guys like fire, huh? High Priest of Raycor. Not at all. Chosses of the Hardy. Uh, okay. We got a book about fire. That's my favorite kind of book. A book about fire. Wow, we're finding mad loots in here. Burning grasp, cloth hand wraps, Magically attuned to feed the wearer's mana pool and reservoirs of elemental fire. If I were to wear these, it's mana regen, a chance to burn enemies when attack, plus 10% fire damage and 35 mana. I would lose health regen, physical resistance, mana regen, and some armor. Probably worth it, though. Burning grasp. I think I shall use them. Oh, we need to read the book. The Primer of Fire. This religious text bears strange runes and markings on the cover. Begins as it ends, in flame. This is the primary tenant. That which burns, must burn. From fire all things came, and to fire all things must return. This is what it means to serve the sun. He has gifted all of us with the spark. To incandesce, to be consumed, to be irretrievably bound within the present passion, to know without equivocation the clarity of hatred, to be lost without salvation, to the ecstasy of grief. From fire all things came, and to fire all things must return. Jubilate with me, my brothers, that the end is nigh. Alright, that's cool. I can get with this. I could join this cult. Let's jubilate up in here. Here to jubilate, motherfuckers. They're resisting a lot of this. They're being very rude right now. Inappropriate levels of jubilation, honestly. Ah! Didn't see that one. Was distracted by the tinder twig. Didn't see that one. You got me, mine. You tricked me. OK. 
how many mines there are. Blast mining hijinks. The time I saw this many mines in one place was West Virginia. I sense some drama up ahead. Dude, there's shrines in here? Seriously? Hmm. What does this mean? Let's quick save. I'm gonna have to fight a boss here or something. About to hit up these shrines before anything else happens. All right, let's do this. Let the boss fight begin. Or what have I hoped you would come? After oh, it's her. all, I owe you so much. How can I repay you for what you've done? Gold is fine. There was a time when kings begged me to read their fortunes. Shall I read yours? Why not? I'm game. Who are you, glowing eye lady? I have so many names, but I am not the subject of this conversation. Do you wish your fortune read or not? Sounds great. Hmm, interesting. It appears as though you have no future. Does this mean your death is nigh? <laughs> I've crafted what I need, and I'm done with this woman's body. Mm. Right now, she's trying to tell you to kill me. Perhaps you would like to oblige her? Okay. I do like to be obliging. All right, what the hell is happening right now? Surprisingly, the boss took a decent amount of damage from that fire spell. That's all there is to that. Bring back the fang of the fire snake. A sunstone? What? Whorls of flame slowly spin beneath the surface of this crystal sphere. Warm to the touch and heavier than its size suggests. Heavy for its size. The sunstone's purpose is as enigmatic as its origin. Hey, it's like that one thing. What was that thing that you had that Drover found? That ember stone or whatever it was? It's like that. A hard dispel. We'll come back to that. I want to look around a little bit. Uh huh. Uh huh. A lot of tinder twig grows in here. The Ember Stone. Some glowy red things. I want some of these, like, in my apartment. You know, just like one of these. Boom. Uh, 
What's happening here? Man, lots of perps in here. Stonewall, a truly massive shield believed to have been wielded by an Almain knight who crafted it from a small piece of stone from his lord's castle. It has 73 armor, blocks 22 damage, 20 armor, extra resistance, ton of block efficacy. It's nice. I'm gonna find silver talisman as well. It's nice, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use it. What, what's in this book? You're not gonna tell me, okay. Let's journal about this. After examining the corpse of Nuala Ignis, I have recovered a strange artifact which he crafted using the fiery magics of Aeoth. A sunstone. I shall return it to Savant Engar. What if I want to keep it? What if I just want my own sunstone? Your stones are heavy, son? That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Word on the street. Boots of the Dark Empyrean. Now we are fucking talking. Tell me more. These boots emanate a dire sense of power and are styled in an antiquated manner. 22 armor. 10 mana regen. 5% crit damage with magic. Part of a set. They look like that. Those are pretty cool. I'm not going to wear them at the moment. But I am going to definitely hold on to them in case I get more pieces of the beautiful set. Watch, I just ran into like a thousand more mines on my just on my way out. And they're like hidden ones that don't show up on the map. Okay, we win. We win. A sun gniff zone, yeah. Even more dangerous than a regular sunstone. It's the zone of the sun gniff. Hmm. Suddenly there's mad chests on the way out. Hello. Average to spell? I'm feeling lucky. I'll take some free stuff. I'll grab some tinder twig on my way out. Jump! There's also a Sunstone and Chrono Trigger, is that right? Is it both sunny and stony? Alright. We made it. Let's go back to Savant Angar. Tired of that annoying peasant who won't give you respect? <laughs> Turn on aggressive mode and murder everyone. Thanks, loading screen tip. Alright, he's over here. Yes? What's this guy there doing? you are. If this were my may Lyria touch you. Angar. It was Nuwala Ignis who stirred the magics of Aod. At least now we may restore the balance of the ruin before the rest of Dalantarth is engulfed in flames. What is this? You caught her crafting this, you say? Remarkable. Just uh, utterly remarkable. I think she was possessed by something. That might explain her behavior. 
Breaching the seals of Aeod should have been far beyond her capacity. Not to mention whatever this is, I have never seen the like. It is as if the element of fire were given physical form. You have done well. I have another assignment for you when you are ready. In the meantime, I shall be studying this uh, sunstone. All right. Well, what's my next assignment? What else can I solve for you? Adept Fell recently began investigating some disappearances in Melaglia. I haven't heard from her in some time. I want you to go to Melaglia in the plains of Erethel. A member of our order will meet you on your way there to give more information. Do not keep your contact waiting. And when you sorted the business with Lerkara out, meet me at the Rathia chapter house. Wait, who's Lerkara? Where is Melaglia? Melaglia is a trade hub between the great cities of Adessa to the south and Rathia to the north. Lately, however, the town has been experiencing a number of disappearances. I see. And what's Candrian Keep? For generations, the lords of Candrian Keep have ruled over various parts of the plains of Erethel. Candrian Keep is the ancestral seat of power. Who's the Archsage? Archsage Jubal Calidus is the highest ranking member of our order. He is the most powerful sorcerer alive and as such commands the allegiance of all within the Scolia Arcana. If he, he ever asks really anything good of you, Neophyte, be sure to deliver. I always do. Alright, where am I going again? North and east, across the plains of Erathel, to the village of Mel Aglia. Right, I'll I find it. I will be setting out for Rathia shortly, so when you are finished in Melaglia, meet me at the chapter house there. Will do. Goodbye. Where did I put my quill? I don't want to know where you put your quill, sir. I was tasked with investigating the ruin of Aeon, whose magics had shifted after my trial of initiation. After investigation, I found a possessed mage, Nuala Ignis, crafting a strange artifact known as the Sunstone. I stopped Nuala, and I've delivered the Sunstone to Savant Ethan Ingar. The Unquiet Bride. Savant Ingar has tasked me with locating an adept named Lakara Fell from the village of Melaglir. She was sent to the village to investigate strange disappearances, but now she too has vanished. I am to meet a contact from the Scolia Arcana on my way to Melaglir, who can provide me with more information. I don't remember him saying anything about meeting a contact on the way or anything. I think I'm just making shit up in my journal. Hashtag making shit up. Plains of Arathel. Kill Windermere Lady. Grim Onwig. Where was I supposed to go for Grim Onwig? Oh, own stand. Yeah, I think I'll do that next, actually. Fifty-seven quests complete. I got a lot of unique uh, purple and set items out of that last dungeon. It was pretty nice. Pretty nice. I should sell some crap. Crap sell. Greetings, Neophyte. Welcome. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Hello, child. Not a child. 
Going back to the U Mad. Stealing some Eda Weiss. Need anything? I've got the best in Isa. Equipping my sword of trading. There we go. Good to see you again. If there's anything you need, just ask. I need your money. Okay, Bastion. What was Bastion? Oh, look how much these things sell for. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, we can sell this for 18,000. I can hear Saito crying. We can sell Storm Spirit for 12,000. Oh, the money's rolling in. Keeping fortune, keeping Fang of the Fire Snake. Keeping. Oh, should I keep Stonewall? I think I'll keep it, just in case. I'll keep those. I'll keep my. What? Back it up. Now we'll start selling this stuff. Keep those. Keep those. A lot of basic flamed bindings, and basic flamed rivets, and novice strings. Thirteen weak rivets coming at ya. I'll sell the book on Aod now. Primer of Fire is worth no monies. I'll hold on to it. It feels appropriate for my character to keep the Primer of Fire. Have a good day. I have so much money now, almost 300k. Feeling good about life. Going to Disneyland. Okay. All of the monies. Have them. Do I even? So I think it's time to go find Grandma Onwig. Kilgarin has told me that Grim Onwick, the man that recruited me into the Travelers, has gone missing on the job. I have been tasked with going to his last known location and learning what has become of him, and help is necessary. Let's go get G.O. Grim Onwick, as we shall now call him. Hmm. On stand. Is the last dungeon in all of Dalantarth we haven't been to. So that's cool. And now we shall go there. Situation looks grim. Yeah, it does, Nox. I'm on the motherfucker. Let's try out some of these uh, Jotuns real quick. See how we're feeling. That's a lot of Jotuns. Okay, that's just rude. I need to introduce these guys to the power of... These guys are rude right now. They weren't joting around. Now that that's handled, though, 
here we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, we don't need to be sneaky, but we're in a castle. Big gates are opening. We've got gnomes. I get to kill gnomes? Wait. This is too good to be true. Who's he? What's going on here? Am I seriously here to kill gnomes? Am I supposed to be stealthing this? I feel like I'm supposed to be stealthing this. I'm supposed to be stealthing this and yet would it not be more satisfying simply to murder gnomes I mean they have abducted my friend I got to kill some gnomes. Doesn't count as murder or anything, right? I mean, I'm good. No bounty. These are fully murderable gnomes. Found a hidden door. With just some awesome chests in it. Robust chakrams of ravaging. Ooh. Oh, ice damage. Get out of here with ice damage. Robes of the hardy. And there's Jotuns. Sometimes you gotta kill gnomes and Jotuns. Together again for the first time. What's up, Grim? How you doing, homie? Hey, get him get him out of the joint. It's Dove! It's you! Good on Cruel Garen to send you. I was worried the Hierophant might get away after all. What's this about the Hierophant? Oh, you mean the beloved guide of the travelers? More like the pompous despot what got me locked in here. The Hierophant's will is what got me locked in here. I'd love to tell you more after you get me out. Why are there gnomes here? Gnomes always seem friendly enough, but these Praetorians ain't messing around. They'll kill anyone that gets in their way. It must be something to do with this book. It's got to be something important. Like getting me out of here. So, how you been, Grim? Managed to get into a pretty good spot here. I ain't getting gutted just yet, so I'd be obliged to get me out before that comes. How did you get caught anyway? I was set up. The Hierophant sent me here to steal an old book, The Misses of Sable, from some Jotun. Sounded easy enough. But I was ambushed by a troop of gnomish Praetorians searching for the missives. They want that book, Dove, and they'll kill both of us for interfering. 
steal the cell key, or pick the lock and get my tools, and I can sneak out. Or you can beat the gnomes to the missives and bargain our way to freedom. What's so special about these missives? Well, it's what everyone here came for, isn't it? Some bloody old tome. But it must be real valuable to cause all this. Thing is, neither the gnomes or I got it. Which means it's deeper in the stronghold with the Jotun. Find it, and we can buy our way out. What's this, uh, set of tools you're talking about? It's an assortment of tools I use when I pull jobs. No good traveller steals his living without the tools of the trade. Since these gnomes are on such high alert, I'll need them tools to escape from here. If I'm to have a head at the end of this. Alright. Wait, how do I get you out again? I can't just walk out. So you'll have to recover my tools. Bust the lock or steal the key to open the cell. Or, if you can get to the missives of Sable, the book both the gnomes and I came for, you could bargain our way to freedom. But not just kill all the gnomes. Take the book, keep it. Kill all the Jotun also. Hurry. Well, well, we'll figure it out. Grim Onwig has been imprisoned by a group of gnomish warriors. There are two ways I can free him. I could steal his confiscated supplies and open the cell door by either pick or key, or I can find the book the gnomes are looking for and trade it to them for Grim's freedom. Hmm. I want a solution that involves more gnome killing. Open by a nearby lever. Well, that's clever. Open by a nearby lever. A lot of levers. Just need to find the right leverage. I don't think I want to jump down here just now. Because I don't think I'll be able to come back. So instead of going that way... Let's see what's cracking over here. Or, over here. Oh, over here is blocked off by a door. There's traps this way. I see a gnome. So nice to kill some gnomes. It really is. It just feels right, you know? Nothing in this room? Mm. Go that way. Or I can open this door. And inside I can find daggers of hemorrhaging. Suddenly there's fucking 20 gnomes here.
What do any more gnomes like to fight? Are you not entertained? Knight's Gauntlets? Do, 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 I showed them no mercy. Apparently there's no more gnomes. Those locks, looting those skeletons, and breaking a crate for good measure. Do I even know where I'm going right now? The whole place stinks of gnome. Oh, am I supposed to, like, negotiate with him? I wonder if I can negotiate with him by burning him to death. I wonder if that's a possible negotiation tactic. Excuse me, sir. Looks like the answer is yes! Oh shit, oh shit. scared. They should be. Poor gnomes. I almost feel bad for them. But then, not really. Easy to spell. I'll do it. 90%. Bam. Savage greatsword. So savage. So great. Such a sword. But, not as good as my fang of the fire snake. Get out of here, savage greatsword. Loot chest. Grim stealth kit. This is a specialized kit of various potions and tools made for thievery. However, none of its contents are... Can I just keep that? That sounds useful. Hard to spell. Let's quick save. I fucked this up. Oh, he's got the key, too. The key to Odessa's jail cells. Tell me about those Azerite trosses. Are there anything good going on with those? No. Here we go. Uh, Ravager's Greatsword. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Does a lot of non fire damage. Even more versus beasts and constructs. It's pretty nice. If I need to fight something with. If I need to fight something with. No fire damage, you know, like a fire immune creature. That would be pretty good to use. Uh. 
How the fuck are sativa stalks growing inside this castle? Another gnome up ahead. Bad news for you, buddy. Open all of the things. We pulled the lever. We haven't been to the Jotun area yet, though. I feel like killing some Jotuns. By the my lever. I don't know what the point of the Jotun area was, really. I have recovered Grim Onwig's stealth kit, and I have the means to open his cell. I should return to him and help his escape, as Krildaeon asked me to. Oh, it's for the book. If you want to get the actual book, you've got to go to the Jotun. And I do want to get the book, obviously. We're not going to do this job halfway. If we're here to get a book, we're going to get a book. I got my library card, motherfuckers. It's called a great sword. Hey, buddy. He's... Don't belly bash me. Don't appreciate that. I don't like being belly bashed by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. Alright, um... See, there's more treasure over here. How do you not come this way? Got some Greaves of the Elixir. Okay... A robust hammer. We got some traps up ahead here. I see you traps. When am I gonna level up soon? Why is there a fucking chicken in here? Just a random chicken walking through. Don't mind me. Just a chicken. Hanging out. Another chicken. Lots of chickens. Okay. I see. I see what happened here. This was once a chicken citadel. Right? The chickens ran this castle. It was their castle. This is gonna hurt. These Jotuns are gonna be tough. Rune with a god, these Jotuns have so much health. You know who doesn't have so much health? Me. Okay. 
Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's the former site of Cluck U. Yeah. That must be it, Nox. Rune wielder. Looks like he should have rune wielded some better runes. Bearden, I'll take it. Sometimes you just gotta have a bunch of chickens randomly in your Jotun dungeon. Does it make sense? Not necessarily. I mean, why are they just walking around alive? You'd think they'd at least be in cages or dead, you know, on spits, being cooked, something. But they're just, you know, chilling. Hey, what's up? We're chickens. We're hanging out. Don't mind us. Probably would be jotting this down in your journal. More traps, more jotins. Oh, I missed that one somehow. What? Where's this book at, though? Get some fire magic in your fucking face! Sir. Hey, there's books around here. This could be where the book is in this area with the books. Either way, I Sherlock Holmes that together. It's a robust. After all these chickens, you're in cluck. See what you did. I don't necessarily approve. <laughs> Magic and chakrams. Overpowered. Still, I found no book. Alright, I must have missed the book. Or did I get it and not even realize? No, I didn't get the book. Because now I'm back to the beginning. It had to be in that Jotun area. Yo, beak. Airful not to overdo it. Oh, no. You're just gonna keep coming with these feather or not I want you to, huh? <laughs> It's really becoming a, a burden. <laughs> I mean, the stench of some of these jokes is quite foul. I wonder if this is one of those things where, like, you literally can't get the book. If you've already gotten the stealth kit. Because I'd quite like to get the book, you know what I'm saying? I think that was the mission. I feel like the book would be here with these, with this main group of Jotuns, the one... The boss Jotun that I killed here, or, you know, pseudo-boss. And yet... I'm not coming up with any book. Then again, maybe that's the twist. Maybe the book was never here.
Well, I don't see no book. So. We'll look one more time in the library in area. I think you're just winging it. Mm. You have a real talent for these kind of puns. Let's just say you've beaked my interest in hearing more. That one was fucking terrible. I should be ashamed of myself. This also seems like where the book would be, right? Because, you know why I think that? Because there's books all around. Hey, wait, is that it? No, not it. Weird if you can't get the book. Fucking weird. No. No book, man. No book. And there's not some area of this place that I missed, right? Alright, let's go back and talk to, to Grim and see what he has to say. Killed all the gnomes, I killed all the Jotun. That's how I do stealth. Watch the books like right in here in his cell. Well, done and dusted, Grim. You could try listening for it. Surely in the distance you can hear a buck, buck, buck. Ah, oh, <laughs> buck, buck, buck sound. Come on now. All right, nice. You got the tools they took from me, right? Give them here, and I can make my way out. Like, you don't even need the tools. I've unlocked the gate. There's no more monsters. Everything's unlocked. You can literally just walk out. You don't even need tools. Alright, here's your tools. More than the Hierophant ever gave me, that's for damn sure. Our blessed seers finally made an error. I'm making myself scarce. But I'll be seeing you before too long, Dove. I promise. Hurry. Let's check my journal. I have secured Grin Unwig's freedom. I should return to Krill Garen and tell her that the job is done and report the disturbing news that Grim had been set up by the Hierophant. Disturbing. So disturbing. Are you not inter-disturbed? Own stand. More like owns lying dead. Duh. What's the last duh for? I don't know. I'm going to try killing these guys without using any magic. Or shockers. of golds. Alright, we're gonna go back to Krill Garen. Who is apparently over there? Not at Star Camp? Oh no, that's just where the entrance to Star Camp is. I see what they're trying to do to me. Yeah, Krill Garen's in here. Grab some star thistle at star camp. Good 
Kogarin. How you doing? Well, job's done. You have freed Grimm. That was well done of you. I heard that he is now on a mission of his own, but I know not where. I'll wish him well. But his accusations of the Hierophant's betrayal are disconcerting. Would the Hierophant truly go so far to quell one voice of dissension? Your jobs here are finished. It is time you go to Moon Camp in the plains of Arathel. The leader of that camp, Irian Tal, will have work waiting. Very well. Thank you, Kogarin. See you around. May the wind be at your back. Time to go to Moon Camp. Quest complete. That's my 58th quest. Kogarin asked me to go to own stand and find Grim Onwig, who had gone missing. I arrived to find him incarcerated, and I helped to orchestrate his escape. He claims the Hierophant set him up to be killed. Homeguard Keep. Windermere. Melaglir. After completing a number of tasks in Star Camp, Kogarin has sent me on to Moon Camp, the traveler's base in the plains of Erethel. I'm to see if the camp's leader, Irian Tal, has any work for me to perform there. Okay. Plains of Arathel is definitely going to be the next area we go to. But there's one final thing to do in Dalantarth, and that's go deal with the Maid of Windermere. That's right. Maid of Windermere waiting for us up here in the Windermerian area. Is that what it's called, Josiah? What it's called today. Yeah, That was the jumping sound. Sometimes you gotta make that sound when you jump. So quiet lately. Let's grab some Scarlet Flowstone. Cannot blink past a fence. <gasps> Wait! I can blink past this fence, but I can't blink past this fence. Blink. Highly specific in its blinkability. The shrine is silent. Hey, where's the merchant the guy that's normally here? You. You know what? I'm going back to Canarok. You know what? I'm going back to Gorehart. No, you know what? I'm going back to Canarok. Alright, I go to Canarok. I get here. I grab some Scarlet Flowstone. I gotta go find that lady who's never read her post. Once again, not at her post. I mean, she'll be laying around upstairs, probably. There she is. Equip the Sword of Commerce. We've still a long ways ahead now. What is it? I'm gonna sell this. This and this and this. This and this and this and this and this. This and this and this and this and this and this. This. These. That I can do for okay. you. Widows spare you. Then I'm gonna go put a couple things in my stash.
such as... I think we're good. Am I still carrying around the Selkie Veil? Vale? Can I not put that in my stash? I can't. For whatever reason, it can't go in the stash. Interesting. 22 out of 28. 34 out of 44. 19, 19, 34, 19, 19. I need to repair my talisman. Otherwise it's gonna like break on the next fight. Okay, we're good. That is pretty odd. Sweet! I was, thought I was gonna level up from that last quest, but it looks like I'm a sliver away. Just a sliver. Time to go... to Windermere. Now that I've received Hallam the White's blessing and received the Resurrection Potion, I should proceed north to the Kingdom of Windermere, Lair of the Maid of Windermere. I'm going to level up before I go in there, though, because I want this area to scale to that level instead of... I don't know if I can level from creatures in this zone though. There might be too they might be too weak for me to gain any XP from them. Three XP. Gonna level up real fast from some creatures here in the she. If I can find any, I can find some black cohosh. I know that right now. my level up all right there we go I need to do more sorcery I think but I don't want to I want to get relentless assault maxed out because now at the current level, it um, lasts 20 seconds and doesn't reduce your armor, which makes it really good. Still a Crusader. Level 19. 
You know what I mean? Got to remember to use Relentless Assault, however. Now we'll go to Windermere. Means I guess we'll go to House of Ballads. Nah, we'll go to Gorgoroth. Honestly, ain't nobody got time. Okay. I said I didn't have time. It's Winda merely a fast travel away, says Knox. As though I needed to say who said that. be a wind a miracle if I get there in one piece. Hard unlock, huh? Let's get some good loot for the win, Demir. Look, I know which way the wind, Amir, is blowing. Five lock picks. Okay. I hope this place is real and not merely a wind mirage. Oh shit, there she is. You've come. Wise. Wiser than those other fools in the House of Ballads. It is their inability to see beyond themselves that has brought them to this end. This is my realm, and any who seek to cross it must first face my challenges. If you say the so. The Wall of Thorns awaits. Sounds like fun. Who are you, really? I mean, I know you're the wind made of Windermere, but, like, what does that mean? Who are you, really? I am not of the Summer Court, but a flower of the bleak winter. And I desire the one thing that the chill of immortality cannot provide. Love. So you're causing all this trouble for that, eh? Okay. Where's the king? You will not lay eyes on him until I find you worthy of it. I pull your strings now. If you wish to rescue your friends, you must cross the field of battle. And what is the Wall of Thorns? As it is in the telling, so it will be for you. Only a true knight of the House of Ballads may pass beyond the Wall, and every true knight needs armor. Tell me, beloved, are your tales worth a minstrel's breath, or are you just dust waiting to fall? Locate House of Ballad's armor. What? The Maid of Windermere mocks me, claiming that only true knights of the House of Ballads can pass through the Wall of Thorns into her kingdom. I must find some House of Ballad's armor to pass this first challenge.
Merely winding up for the assaults. What up, bear? Why are they gray? Oh, uh, please tell me I didn't somehow accidentally lock this area at some low-ass level. Because that's really gonna suck if so. Of course, I just now entered Windermere, according to... I really hope this stuff is at my appropriate level now and not... ...scaled down to whenever the fuck I was in the previous zone. Oh no, it's all gray! That's... terrible. Why? What's going on here? Who's this guy? Stop! Look who it is, Kreth. Oh, it's Aaron Alan White has sent his right hand to tear at Our Lady's good name. You are interrupting a duel for the ages. There can only be one Windermere champion, and it shall be me. Of course, Kreth has never been one to concede gracefully. You two. The useless Fay. Well, how you been, Sir Amor? It is I. But in truth, I've discovered a greater calling, a purpose that will never fade. I fight for the maid now, and she whispers her love to me. Oh, I see. So you've been ensorcelled. Tell me about the maid. She is the only one who deserves our worship, the only one willing to stand against the telling and fight for her own ambition. She is glorious. Oh yeah, she's great. Real peach. You've abandoned the House of Ballads, then? The pawns of Hallam only wish to harm our mistress, and they will feel the sting of our blades. Do not count yourself among them. That would be unwise. I'm pretty fucking unconcerned about the sting of your blades, I've got to say. Look, I'm going to need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Now, that's... that's, uh... Terminator 2. I'm going to need your armor. Need our armor? Is this a jest? You will never impress the maid. She is only interested in true knights of the realm. Perhaps you can help us choose the Grell. Kreth and I were just fighting over who should be the maid's true champion. Unless you believe yourself worthy of such an honor, then by all means challenge one of us to a duel. The prize, your sought-after armor. Why are you fighting? We honor this field of battle in the name of the maid, who can have but one champion, only one defender of Windermere, and one worthy of her love. Kreth thinks it is he who she desires, but he is wrong. He is always wrong. But you know she loves King Wenson, not either of you. Come on now. Where is the champion? There can only be one defender of Windermere. As Sir Elswin was no longer worthy, Kreth and I dispatched him hastily, and in a manner befitting one of his service. He must have been even more useless than you. And what if I choose you? You may win more than just my armor, Sagril. You will know that you are truly the victor, for Ermer is the greatest knight ever to raise a sword in the maid's name. Let me think about this. Very well. We wouldn't want to be hasty, would we? I need to do some journaling. Kreth and Ermer appear to be enchanted by the Maid of Windermere, and they're in conflict over which of them will act as her champion. I must choose one to confront in order to win his House of Ballad's armor. But first, I must loot the area. A hearty cowl. It's like a hearty breakfast, but... Great. This area hasn't scaled up to me, so we're back to getting... Yeti loot. Hold on. I gotta listen to this lore stone, you guys. Stop! Beth, what do you have to say for yourself? Stop! Just ram the Pillar of Thorns? 
That sounds even wiser than normal pillar ramming. Well, which one of us do you want killing you? I'll do it if it must be done, and if it pleases my lady. Why are you fighting, Sir Krath? Erma's sense of duty, of service, it is what makes him weak. The maid needs one whose strength is not bound by mercy. Not even the love of knights and brothers can stand between my lady and me. Those who would try will fall. You're fucking ridiculous. What happened to the real champion? Sir Elswin has been relieved of his duties. He has been guarding this kingdom for far too long. And even the best grow lazy. What happens if I choose you? Then you will earn my respect. Something you have yearned for since our first meeting. Ah! Come, prove to me that you are worthy of my blade. I have yearned for your respect in the same way I've yearned for an anal prolapse. Wow, that's... Wow. Okay. Uh, I need to think about it. Oh, the time you mortals waste. I'd think you'd be more protective of it. As little as you have. Goodbye. All right, let's let's talk to Sir Hammer again. I am eager to hear your decision. I will free you from this curse with dispelling. What? Where is the court? How have I come to be here? Why does it feel as though I've just woken from a waking dream? You mentioned something about armor. Please take these robes if you must. Thank you. I don't know what to think. The maid's power is extraordinary. Much more potent than I've ever seen it. What do you think of the maid now? It's the witch that did this to me. I am Ermer. I retrieved the sword of Rydirk. I defeated Nyx. Did any of that even happen? Or was it all just a dream? I, I don't know anymore. I defeated Nyx, and I'm wielding the Sword of Ryderk right now. House of Ballads! I guess you should go back to them now. Tell them how you got ensorcelled and you were a big chump. Yes. I remember something about the House of Ballads. There was talk of a troll, perhaps. I wish I could remember. Good luck, Sir Ammer. I've won a set of House Ballad's armor. I must now loot it from my fallen opponent and equip all the pieces in order to pass through the Wall of Thorns, the Bramble Barrier blocking my progress. Ammer just starts leaving even though Krath is still standing there in Sorcelled. I know, right, Nox? Let's set him free, too. You have chosen. The maid can only have one champion. Sir so Krath, what's your deal, honestly? Why are you the way that you are? Yes, you know me. But I stand for my lady now. The maid of Windermere is everything. Why do you like the maid of Windermere so much? Her majesty will no longer be overlooked. Try as you might to vanquish the Emerald Lady, you will not succeed. She is everlasting. But I have reckoning mode. House of Ballads, you know, you kind of uh, let them down. The maid's hand has turned me to the light of truth. What did it show me? It showed me that the House of Ballads is in ruins. Escape while you have the chance. All right, Kreth. He seems Goodbye. a bit Kreth fallen that you haven't picked him. Why can't I set him free from the curse, too? I guess we're just like, ah, eh, fuck you, Kreth. House of Ballad's hood, House of Ballad's robes, House of Ballad's gloves, House of Ballad's slippers. So what do I get for this? 10 mana, 10% armor, 15% crit damage with magic, 10% block efficacy, 15% health. These slippers are known as the Speed of Kiyozai, in order of the Ring of Kiyozai. They are worn by House of Ballad's knights, guardians of ancient secrets beyond mortal understanding. Same thing. Hmm. 
middle of Kyo's eye. Relationship points too low with Sir Kreth to release him. <laughs> I can now cross the gorge. Here I am in Windermere, apparently. There's some trolls and boggarts and shit over here. I'm wearing this dodgy ass suit of clothes. Dodgy ass. Oh, I probably can equip my normal gear again. Dude, I'm not going to use Reckoning Mode on one box. Thank you, though, game. Lol. A level troll. I'm going to kill everything in this... Valley. Hard unlock. So dodge key. Shoes of the squall. Sorcery three requirement. Now we're getting the fat loots. Now we're getting the fat loots. Run by harvesting. I must harvest. Simply must. That's nice, Prismere Lockpick. Is this troll immune to fire? Not again, not really. Swim mode. A baby, now we got bad bow. More Prismere lock picks. I'm just doing all the swimming. Level one. All right. Now it's on. Not so great sword, yeah. They're like, sorry, mediocre sword wouldn't fit on the tool tip.
I'm just collecting all this stuff. As one does. When one is Josiah. Collecting all the stuff. Collecting all the stuff. Kill one troll, you kill them all. Next. Next challenger. Why are they giving me so many Prismere lockpicks all of a sudden? Are there going to be just a bunch of hard-ass locks coming up and they want to make sure I'm prepared? Spell. Come on. Well, at least there's jeweled bracelets to be had. Hey. Okay. I passed through the Wall of Thorns, but must now cross a vast gorge that separates me from my goal. The heart of the Maid's Lair. Was that- wait, was that the Vast Gorge? Or is there another Vast Gorge? It's honestly- <laughs> that's not a very Vast Gorge, if that's the gorge that was being referred to in the journal. Hashtag making shit up. It was a gnome perspective vast gorge? I see. Very hard. Fuck it. Nah, I probably don't need to use a prismere pick. Hold on. Let's see how hard this actually is.
pretty hard. Oh, Frostblade. Oh, the fucking blasphemy of cold. Its owner and origin unknown, this blade was apparently forged by a Losofar smith, but enchanted by Varani mage priests. I think it's some kind of longsword. Well, it's going to be some kind of several thousand gold when I sell it. It was no mere gorge. No mere gorge. Mm. It looks cool, but... Get out of here with blasphemy of cold. Blasphemy of ice. Blasphemy of blasphemy. Dead bodies in the water here. A bunch of them. Surprised that none of them are coming to life and assailing me. Making shit up again. What's up, maid? Well, I grow more impressed with every head you lay before me. Well done. You rival even Sir Elswin in your foolish arrogance. You may have passed the Wall of Thorns. But the Weeping Gorge proposes its own unique challenges. Who is Sir Elswin? Apparently he's elsewhere right now. He was captain of the Royal Windermere Guard, and my staunchest offender. His body lies below where it fell. I mourn him in my own way. What about Amor and Kreth? Like all the elders. Little phantoms hiding behind the victories of the past. Weak minds are the easiest to control. And those two are mine now. Well, only one of them. Alright, what's the Weeping Gorge? I'll play along. It is what prevents my enemies from simply marching into my kingdom and feeding it to the flame. To raise the bridge, one must defeat its guardian, the legendary Sir Elswin. Only then will the path make its way open to you. Alas, Sir Elswin has been killed, as goes the story. This time I fear he's staying quite dead. Another terrible price of our waning magic. Pity. <laughs> Farewell. Oh, I get it. I can't cross it because I can't defeat Sir Elswin because he's dead. But, surprise, motherfucker, I've got a resurrection potion. I'll resurrect him and then beat him. What do you think about that? What what do you think about what 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 do you think about that? I gotta go find his corpse. Seriously, Nox, they are hashtag making shit up. Look, when you're fucking Oh, this is only two out of five on Summer's End. The Cursed Kingdom, Bell made thwarts the Maid of Windermere's plans to gather an army of wild fae. Bonus damage with hammers. Poison resistance, melee, that one's good. Fire damage is good, mana's good. Three out of three out of two out of... Man, these, there's a lot of these spring, summer, and fall ones. There's not one that says... Oh, there is winter. There's ten of those, too. If only there was something in existence called a catapult that they could see each lair from a distance. There's no catapults in this world. 
These people are too dumb to have thought of that. Well, there's some dead bodies over here. Maybe... Here he is. Let me resurrect this dude right quick. I need to defeat the champion of the Weeping Gorge to make the bridge appear. But Sir Elswin has already been killed. I must resurrect the Great Knight in order to kill him again. Perhaps this is why Hallam gave me the resurrection potion. You think? Ha! I have you right where I... Wait! What's the meaning of this? Who are you and where is my opponent? Oh! I see what happened. Blast! Ah, perhaps next time. How did you die? A great sword to the throat. How else? It was gloriously bloody, if I recall. The champion had been told to end my service to the maid. And who are you? Sir Elswin, right? I was once a grand knight in the clan of Issa. But misfortune befell me when I believed the lies of the witch. She lured me, wooed me, honored me, promised me power. I became the champion and protector of her castle. That did not last long. She tired of my service and my love. Just look at the result. Alright, so you're kind of a chump. Here's the deal. I resurrected you just so I could kill you. So, you know, chew on that. Really? I don't think so, Dustling. I do think so. That was easy. Loot for your Z. Loot, no, okay. Res you just to kill ya. That's how Kato Blood Rose rolls. Res you just to kill ya. By defeating Sir Elswin, champion of Windermere, I will be able to cross the Weeping Gorge and enter the Maid's Village in her castle that lies beyond. Oh, there's a village. Hey, I'm curious about something. How am I doing on... What, what do I need for my next... Become a Paragon. I need 38-38. Okay, that's a long way off. That's a long way off. It's okay. I think the castle, it's... Convenient. I think the castle itself will spawn at the correct level. Who the fuck is this guy? Stop! Oh, for the love of God. Sir Kreth, do I need to put your ass down too? I like how I can just run right past him. He's like, stop. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to pass you up, bro. All right. What? Stop. Let Fight me, bro. Enough, mortal. You presume too much. This song does not belong to you. There can only be one champion, and his name is Sakreth. I free you from this curse, Kreth. Wouldn't you Kretha be somewhere else? What is this? What, what have you done, Sagro? What brings me to this strange place? It's as though a troll has been braining me with his club. Goodbye. Bye. I do not like what has transpired, not at all. It is a strange sensation, akin to fingers probing the very insides of your being. What now, Sir Kreth? I don't feel all too different, actually. I'm just as miserable as ever. I do hope the lingering effects of this enchantment wear off eventually. Enchantment? Enchantment! What do you think about the Maid of Windermere now? A prickly one, the Maid. <laughs> I never thought she'd become so ambitious, so vile. Once she was like us, just a player in the game. Now, she is something more. 
Now she's playing a different game. The House of Ballads. Suppose you'll go back there, eh? I never fully appreciated what I shared as part of Wenson's inner circle. Now that it's been struck down, I can only hope that it will one day be restored. Good luck, Kreth. Goodbye. I've defeated the champions guarding the entrance into the Maid of Windermere's kingdom. Now I must continue my search for King Winson and the Court of Enchantments. In other words, she's made her real moves. That's right. Go. What's up, maid? You are brave. No mortal has ever set foot in my domain. Isn't it wondrous? I've spent centuries whispering my wishes to the earth, the trees. The crystal has made it so. Never before has there been one worthy of sharing it with me. Do you fancy yourself a ruler? Join me and my enchanted beasts in this, the autumn of my kind. Uh, nope. I'm afraid you'll be dead before then. And you mean it. That is why you so fascinate me. You continue to snarl, even in the face of your own demise. Admirable. Stupid, but admirable. What do you mean, the autumn of your kind? Oh, that's right. The Fae are dying out. Soon you won't even exist. Humans will forget about you. Hallam has seen it, and I dream of little else. The tale of the Fae enters its final telling. All the old songs will perish with their heroes, and a new era will begin. And while the end is near, it has yet to be written. You are the harbinger of change our people have long feared, and with you lies our legacy. What was this about enchanted beasts? Those who seek to be my subjects, to serve me in every way. The wild fay you see before you are under an enchantment. This keeps them docile. You are safe here so long as you do not anger my friends. They will pay you no mind, but some advice. Keep your weapons sheathed. Tell me about the crystal. Why are you corrupted by Prismere or whatever's going on here? Whatever I desire, it makes possible. I wanted to change the ballads, and I have done it. I wanted Wenson, and he is mine. The Prismere makes it so. This Prismere is kind of causing a lot of trouble. Alright, where's King Wenson? I'm tired of this shit. Wenson waits for you in my castle. But only a fool would simply invite you in. And I am no fool. I have been part of this story for too long. This village is my legacy. How the world will remember me when all the courts have fallen. Below, my army prepares to wipe clean the songs of yore. You could lie beside me in the waning days, but if rescuing Wenson is what fate has written for you, then you will find him, and you will find me. New quest, Cursed Kingdom. Oh, there's a big castle ahead. I've crossed the border into the Kingdom of Windermere, beating the maid at her own game and besting her champions. The maid of Windermere is taunting me. The only way to get to her and to rescue the Court of Enchantments is to find an entrance to her castle. She mentioned that I should speak with the Chancellor of Windermere to get inside. I don't think she mentioned that. Again, hashtag making shit up. Brownies, sprites, speak to the Chancellor. I'm now all up in it. Look, I'm gonna take this dumb outfit off now.
you know all these things are going to turn aggro at some point. Journal divulged your chance to get into the castle. Yeah. Look at these goofy little fuckers. Nice. Windermere Castle. Okay, we obviously can't just walk in there. See what's inside this building right here. The bell tower. I don't have a key. Okay. The bell tower. It'll be cool when every single one of these things aggroes at once and all comes after me. That'll be good times. I get it. I gotta smash the crystal, and it's gonna make all the monsters turn hostile. I get it. Windermere protected by spoony hacks.
Black Kohosh. Now we're talking. Four stones. Everywhere. The maid was tortured once again, this time by Bellmaid's might, a house of Ballad's heroine, who brought to darkness night. She may be queen of Winston's throne, but learn you well this tale. A woman's strength lies not in men, but where men often fail. Oh, flame blade! A gift from a noble to his bard, Spoonie Blade, regarding his shameless puffery in praise of the noble's virtues and good looks. Wow, it's a fucking longsword that does almost as much damage as my greatsword. Wow, flame blade. Oh, that thing's nice. Too bad I don't really use longswords, but that thing's nice. Fucking sounds those things make, seriously. Motherfucker. <laughs> this is just weird. Running around with all these fae that aren't, you know, aren't hostile. Making their little sounds while I just casually run around and loot plants and stuff. Casually. Casually. It's just nutty. Aggro with your sword practice, yeah. Presumably because I wasn't that close to them. Champion crude sylvanite chosses. I have to have some mad armor on them. Champion's hand wraps. Damage versus Nascaru. Soft Scrabble Deposits. That's what happens when you play Scrabble with somebody and they're not very good. 
just soft scrapple. I thought I saw another. I did see another thing up here. Actually, that's right, Nox. Similar to, but not exactly like a cashew nut. <laughs> Fucking trolls everywhere, man. It's just gonna be a clusterfuck when these things all go hostile. A cluster... Fuck. Alright, the guy I need to talk to, or woman, is inside this building, presumably. And I've now explored the entire region. They're under such control. Yeah. Just on their benign patrols. Chantry. What is this, Dragon Age? Excuse me, sir. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna walk into your house, immediately walk up to a chest, pick the lock, take the contents, take a sword off your Welcome. rack, pick your star thistle, pick your other star thistle. Wait, it's Sir Sagril? The actual Sagril? Dude, I've been running around using your name. You're not at all what I expected. I am Sagril, Chancellor of Windermere. She said you were beautiful, although I have noticed that she has peculiar tastes. You're just in time. Our little army is building up quite nicely. I was beginning to fear that we'd actually have to execute the lady's plans, ludicrous as they are. What's the story with this army? Every summer ballad ends in the maid's defeat. Time and again she has played the villain. Now she intends to change that permanently, and she has the power to do so. This army is not a new device, not at all. It is all part of the great ballad Cursed Kingdom, in which fair Queen Belmaid reduces the maid's army to a scattered mob. Yes, I've heard it. So all these wild fae running around, they're, they're the army. The beasts in this village may act civilized, but they are anything but. Cross them and they will kill you, just like their wild cousins would. Where's the Prismere Crystal that's causing all this corruption? It is the source of her power and of her madness. Normally she's not so terrible to be around, if you don't mind plotting and treachery, that is. Oh, I love me some good plotting and treachery, don't get me wrong. So, you're the Sir Sagril, eh? Please, it is just Sagril. I am no knight. I only recently came of age. The maid seized me just as I was leaving my hollow, as though she had been waiting. The great cycle has left me vacant, but I am no friend of the maid of Windermere. Though the winter ballads name her a hero, her favorite role is the heartless tyrant. It's interesting that for the winter phase, she's a hero, not a villain. Thank goodness the fair dying out because this last act of crazy spooniness is too much bullshit to deal with. Right, Knox? Anyway, 
As it turns out, I'm actually Sagro, not you. I mean, this time around. I've got your part. I've got your job, I guess you could say. Of course you are. Forgive me. I often forget that my time with the House of Ballads has passed. Now I am but a prisoner of the maid. We all are. You see, this place, it's calm. It is only an illusion. The maid uses her strange crystals to pacify the beasts, just as she enchants our friends. We must destroy the crystals to earn our freedom. But they are invisible to all but the maid. It is her song that calls them. I had this flute at one point. Alright, well how do I find the crystals? The crystals are hidden around the village and forest of Summer's End. You cannot see them with the naked eye. They appear only when summoned by a musical tone. Right, we've played this game before. Okay, goodbye. What are you doing here? Maybe I still have the flute. Or whistle. Uh, you must be as perplexed as I am about our situation. How does one mimic the maid's song without her? It's a riddle it is. No, I've got it. You must hurry. Hmm. Oh. Weirdly tired. The wild fae in Summer's End are kept pacified by the maid's enchantments, which are powered by the same mysterious crystal that drove the monks at St. Edric's to madness. Perhaps if I use Brother Wolf's whistle, I can find and destroy them. Of course, the crystals can only be summoned by sinister spooniness. Yeah. Alright. So, I need to use the whistle. Do I seriously just run around out there blowing the whistle over and over? I have to be a whistleblower? Oh, I thought that troll was about to attack me. Then I was expecting, oh, I see it. Then I was expecting when I blew the whistle that it was gonna aggro the, oh, but when I just start smashing these crystals is when shit's gonna go crazy. I need to be ready. Wolf whistle at the maid's crystals to make them shatter. Uh, I guess they don't freak out till I kill all the crystals. Alright, I'll use the fucking Ocarina of Time or whatever to... One more, and then shit's gonna jump off. I mean, I'm assuming. I'm assuming shit about to get cray. Yeah, they all just turned red. And these things are definitely scaled to my level. Do 
Dude, is everything in the whole zone coming my way? Because that'd be fucking awesome if so. Now that I've destroyed the crystals and ended the maid's enchantment, I should return to Sagril. He is located in the Chantry. I've done as he asked and seek my reward. Entrance to Castle Windermere. Well, first I'm gonna kill every one of these fucking things. Motherfucker has a lot of hit points. Can't wait to see how many hit points the trolls have after that shit. Brownie, eh? Get baked! How's my inventory doing? Oh. I feel like by the time I finish this castle, I'm gonna be having inventory problems. Alright. Here's an angry troll that I'm gonna have to deal with. Along with a bunch of other fuckers. Are they fighting each other? That's convenient. That new Relentless Assault is good. Silk hand wraps. Lots of sockets. Azurite kite shield. Lots of kite. Picture your character killing all these things that get out her frustrating over dealing with the Fae formerly known as Sagral. <laughs> Formerly known as...
more shall we slay? Troll had a lot of gold. Troll gold. Okay, okay. Even when I block, he's not a, he's not having it. of the elixir. Alright, I've killed everything. I've killed everything. Sagril, hello again. Hello! Quite a display, my friend. It makes me proud to share a name. You made quick work of the maid's army. The lady herself, however, will prove more formidable. All right, get me into the castle. Take this. It's the key to the village bell house. That bell rings with the same tone as the flute, only louder. 
so loud it can be heard across these high mountains. The toll will break the enchantment on the maid's castle. Then you will have your chance. Make the most of it, my friend. It may be your last. And now I am free. I do hope we meet again. I would like you to have this. It's a talisman. I have no need of it where I am going. Thank you, Sagril. Where is the bell tower? Just above the chantry. The door to the castle is warded. But once you ring the bell, that ward will be no more. Got it. Ring the bell. I'm grateful to you. Using the key given to me by Sir Sagril, I must enter the bell tower and ring the bell. The deafening tones of the bell will break the final enchantment on the castle gate, giving me entrance to the maid's lair. 80 out of 90. Is it too late to fast travel out of here and sell shit? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. While I'm in the bell tower, I might as well. Loot. This bell tower looks suspiciously like an inn. <laughs> I'm just saying. A blood root, really? That's all that was in that chest? Big glowing golden chest? Blood root. No, I don't. Oh, come on. For whom the bell tolls. I've managed to survive the maid's village of Summer's End. Now the maid and the court of enchantments wait for me inside the Castle Windermere place. Alright, hold on. I mean, technically there's nothing stopping me from leaving, right? So I'm going to get more than eight pieces of loot in there. Let's see what happens. Apparently I can just fast travel. Let's go see Dita. Dedicated to her job. Need something? I've got supplies if you need them. Mm, crossblade can go. A lot of money now. Don't be a stranger. House of Ballad Shield. Pretty fucking good. 
ornate kite shield emblazoned with the harp emblem of the House of Ballads. Now I have inventory room. Hello there. I'm way back here, fuck. In before all the monsters in Summer's End have respawned. Having to fight the dead. Yeah, I have to do everything again. Okay, no, the monsters haven't respawned. Managed to survive the maid's village of Summer's End. Now the maid and the court of enchantments wait for me inside the fortress of Castle Windermere. We will go in. We will face the maid of Windermere herself after having been built up all this time. But Feeling pretty tired. I don't know. It's not that late, though. It's not even 9 o'clock. I think I gotta stop, though. I'm feeling... Got a little bit of a headache coming on. Feeling kind of tired. Don't know if I'm up for this Castle Windermere excitement. I have 354,000 gold, though. Feels good. But I think... I'm gonna call it here. We're looking at 57 hours played in this game. 57 hours 468 armor
probably the time change hijinks. Yeah, fucking time change. Always getting you. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. <laughs>